So you want to make travel videos but you have zero idea where to start from. Hello everybody, como están? Ian Luis here and today I'm going to teach you how to travel blog and I'm going to give you four tips so you can make your videos look from this. Hi, today we're in Santiago, Chile and we're going to see what we can find around. So far it's a very very nice place. Look at this, this is Isiora Goyenechea and yeah, very beautiful. Um, street is like the financial district of, of Santiago so we have been walking for a while now and it looks really nice uh, there's a lot of people it's after office time over there is Costanera Center which is uh, the tallest building in Latin America and it looks really cool yeah guys I just have this uh, hot dog Italiano uh, look it's so big, it's, I couldn't even eat it all of it. Oh, so much food. To this. Hello everybody, como están? Ian Luis here and welcome to Exploring Together. We currently are in Santiago de Chile and the main idea for today is to get the best Chilean hot dog. Explorers, let me quickly show you the Costanera Center, the tallest building in Latin America. The building has 300 meters high and it was inaugurated in 2014, but let's leave it aside for a while because we have arrived to Domino, which is one of the best hot dog places in Chile. This is a hot dog Italiano, basically a, just a hot dog with tomatoes, avocado and mayonnaise. Mm. So good, so so good. The very first tip I have for you is to always film as much as you can. Remember that when you are making a travel blog, you are showing an experience of traveling to a certain place. That's why you gotta show the buildings, the cars, the people walking in the streets. If you have street food, poof, that's beautiful footage for you to include in your travel movie. One little pro tip, remember to always try to film your footage in the most stable way that you can because this is gonna give a better quality to your video making it more enjoyable for your viewer to watch a good way of making your video more stable is either film in 60p or 120p so later you can slow it down in post process if you are just starting out another great way of stabilizing your footage is either with a cheap tripod a gorilla pod or just invest in a gopro nowadays they have brilliant image stabilization the second tip that I have for you is to give related information. Remember that when you're traveling, you're experiencing new things. Either you are driving a Lamborghini in Paris. Or you're just eating a hot dog Italiano in your hometown. Just remember that your viewer is also traveling with you. So you can include things like tickets, prices, I don't know if there's an interesting building, give a certain short description of what it is. As long as it is relevant and helps the video, why not include it? The third tip that I have to give you is your personality. Remember that when you're making a travel blog, you are traveling and your viewers are traveling with you. You. And there is nothing worse than traveling with someone that's annoying us. So the very first thing you're gonna do is to make it friendly. You make it friendly so your viewers can enjoy. If you make them laugh, that is exploring together. And the second thing is to make it genuine because you are being authentic. Believe me that if you are traveling and you are filming every single day, you will hate it after a month if you are not being yourself. And lastly, and the fourth tip that I have for you is the edit. You get a master the editing because that is where the magic happens. The software that I use is called Final Cut Pro, but in a nutshell, the way my workflows goes is I literally import everything that I film during that day, each event, in Final Cut and I start making a story of what I filmed through the day. It will be a massive help if you have planned before what you are shooting. So let's say 7 a.m. you are in Taj Mahal, 8 a.m. you are going to Agra, 10 p.m. you gotta be in Hong Kong because you are gonna be, I don't know, 
making a video there. <laughs> but this is gonna help you to have a chronological order of the events that you live through the day making a basic storyline for your video. Just one final advice on the editing because I see this happening quite a lot is to not overdo the shots of a place. If you are making a hundred shots of a street don't put the hundred shots into your movie because it's gonna be just too much. Out of the hundred shots simply choose two or three of them, the very best ones. And that is what you're going to include in your inner sequence b-roll. I'm gonna be doing another video on how do I film my travel b-rolls, where I will explain what the inner sequence of a b-roll is, just for you to learn it, to master it, and so you can create your very own travel blogs. And that it is it for me today, my dear explorers. Hope you have found this how to travel blog and four tips for beginners interesting. And if you did, please remember to like, share it, and subscribe. And I, Ian Lewis, We'll be seeing you soon, you travel blogger, explorer,